For today's vid, we're working on the E39 540i Touring Drift Car. I'm going to show you how to modify the subframe steering limit stops. E39s are becoming a bit more of a popular drift car now that the E36s and E46s are all getting bought up, but they don't have a lot of aftermarket parts support. One of the common questions is how can I get more angle? I'm going to show you how to get a little bit more angle today. Best part is it's going to be a free modification and it's pretty quick and easy and it works with all of the V8 E39. So that's the 540 and the M5. Part of the mess down here, another one of today's projects is trying to do some degreasing. Remember we rescued this car out of a field, so we're not really responsible for how nasty it is. On the V8 cars, in order to make room for the V8, they got rid of the rack and pinion steering and instead it has this drag link style steering. So you can see here's the one of the tie rods here and it's on the back and what's kind of interesting about it is that it pushes the the spindle from the back instead of pulling it from the front like the inline six cars do. So that's not as great in terms of self-centering or steering feel. It's kind of a compromise if I'm honest but it does give you room for the V8 and then it does have the little bonus here that I'm going to show you today. So if you look on here, on the subframe, there's this little tab that this Pittman arm is sitting against. This little tab right here. This is actually what limits the angle of the steering. So this is the drag link here, and as you steer, this arm comes to rest against this stop. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to grind off this extra protruding bit flush with the rest of it, and that's going to give you a little bit more steering angle. On this side, you can see I've already done it. It doesn't require anything fancy. You can use a cutoff wheel. I just use a Dremel. It would be useful to paint it afterwards. As you can see, mine I did a few weeks ago, and it's got a little bit of surface rust. But with the arm sitting against it, we've increased the angle here a little bit. And if you look closely, nothing's really bonding up on here. But trimming off this a little bit, we are pretty much at the limits of what the stock suspension will do though you can see these arms are all pretty tangled up very close to each other sway bar is quite close to the thrust arm thrust arms close to the tie rod control arm i mean everything it's it's just a tight setup so don't feel like you can just grind this thing totally away and you're gonna somehow get a ton of angle the other issue also becomes that the tire will hit the back of the wheel well of course i don't even have any wheel wells on this car but like that's the the fill line for the washer fluid tank and that'll get a hole rubbed in it. You can also see on the outside of the thrust arm where the tire has contacted it. So don't go crazy and get big wide front tires because you'll end up just rubbing the inside of the wheel well up pretty good.